Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Wise TV. Welcome back to the Simple Logic Podcast, where I, your host, talks about topics logically, but also in a comedic fashion. Today, I have a special guest. Guest, go ahead and introduce yourself. My voice crack. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Anel Jeanne, but everybody calls me Anel. Anel is most definitely one of my best friends. This is, this is the homie right here, man. We can talk and not stop. Sometimes it's a little bit alarming because, well, what do you know? We have, we have these talks like what, one, once a month or something like that now? Once a month and it lasts like five hours. Yeah. Well, it'd be like 1 a.m. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's four. <laughs> and you know what? It's our conversations are either really intellectual or they're stupid. There's no in between. They're either dumb as shit or really intellectual. Yeah. So how's it going, Anel? Anel, you have a very funny relationship with uh, turtlenecks. I don't know what it is. I just think they're so fashionable. You know what? They are. But you know what's funny, though? Mm -hmm. Niggas with no necks wearing turtlenecks. That's just, <laughs> it's, it's so funny. And then, like, you know, the, the turtleneck, like, it, it'd be so loose because they don't have no <laughs> neck because there's nothing for it to fit, you know, to fit to. I've never seen that before. You've never seen a nigga with no neck wearing a turtleneck? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it is hysterical. It they they legit they look like turtles. They look. I mean, that's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, ex exactly. So today we have. Um, I actually thought about this topic because somebody um, they asked me a face a facetious ass question, mm -hmm. like basically like trying to get a, a rise out of me. Because um, I am a short individual. I'm about like, I'm about 5'4", five, almost 5'5". Five, five. And um, yeah, they were like, <laughs> because I put, you know how I put up like some of my, um, my questions on Instagram. So like the podcast questions. Yeah, they were like, so how do you feel about being short? <laughs> so I, I thought about, I thought about it. And I've seen a lot of different stuff on um, Twitter and Instagram around the same, uh, around the same time about personal preferences too. So right. That's what today's episode is about. Personal preferences and insecurities. Not that I, that being short is my insecurity. I most definitely do have them, but being short is not one of them. Really? So what, what do you think uh, about these topics, Anel? Um, I think, I mean, I think they're interesting. I think one thing is it's really weird to like come ask somebody for something they can't help. Bro. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Thank you. Like, what you want me to get surgery on my, on my fucking knees? No, I don't even think is that even a that's not even a thing. I I don't know. No, and my knees already hurting as it is. It got cold today. I said <laughs> I said I know it is cold. I woke up, I went down the stairs. I said it's gonna be a dreary day. <laughs> you know, you getting old when you use the I, word dreary. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it's just your old. Has nothing to do with the bad knees. <laughs> She's really old, so yeah, yeah, getting 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 up there. Even though a lot of people don't think so, but I feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anywho, continue. Yeah, um, because I mean, I'm short. I'm shorter than you are. Mm -hmm. I'm four eleven, and like as a woman, it's not really such an. There's no negative, you know, stigma around being a short woman. Right. But I've been seeing lately just a lot of uh you know a lot of women saying like oh you want you want a little you want to date a little child like why are you dating someone who's short you're dating a little child i'm like that's like ouch like or like they're not real women they're not woman enough because right. they're short and i'm like oh okay that's how you feel right so <laughs> that is so funny that you said that because okay <clears throat> Anel, Anel knows this. Everybody knows this at, at this point. When it came to college, like I, I was constantly, you know, I was starting in the moonlight. You anyway. were in the streets. You were for, you ran the streets. Yes, I was in the streets. So <laughs> while I was in the streets, I actually heard that a couple of times be like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh God. You know how many times I, I struck out because, because I was short? And here's the thing, Anel. Literally nine times out of ten, they would be shorter than me. Right? Isn't that weird? It's it's so it's so fucking weird. And then, but you know what? Karma would would take place so fast because you know they would get the basketball player who's six seven, six eight, 
Um, and then they get dogged out and then you be like, oh my God, you are such a good guy. <laughs> How are you? Hey, big head. Yeah, I don't know. And I also think it's really weird being, you know, like someone who's like 5'2", saying like, I can't date anybody shorter than six foot. It's really weird. What? <laughs> like, first, first off, if I'm a midget, you're a fucking leprechaun. I'm sorry, little person. If I'm a little person, you're a fucking leprechaun. Exactly. So get the fuck out of here. But yes, you know, but I, um, I had somebody break it down to me, like how they felt, which was, which was also stupid, but <laughs> I'll share it with you. I had, okay. yeah, I had this one female tell me that she would rather not date a shorter person because she feels like she wants a, a, a manly man. She wants to feel protected which is weird to me because I don't think I've seen plenty of tall niggas who can't fight. Right. Plenty. Exactly. And, and you know, look, I'm not, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say I can because everybody say, say that they can fight, but I know my own abilities. All right. If I have to protect somebody, I know I can protect somebody. So height literally has nothing it to really, do it with it. It doesn't have anything to do with it. I think it's just the look of it. Mm -hmm. you know it's people feel more intimidated by somebody who's six four compared to somebody who's five five yes it's just every i feel like everything about this these days everything is about aesthetics yeah literally if we were we were just talking about um social media how people feel like they need to put everything on there just to make your life look more glamorous than mm -hmm. what it actually is mm -hmm. like not fucking dating anybody you're not making moves you know when niggas be like oh making moves big shit coming you're not doing shit moving in silence yeah. <laughs> you're on twitter like hey i'm <laughs> making moves over here <laughs> moving in silence hey they, they get a megaphone moving in silence <laughs> that's me and nine times ten times out of ten they're literally not doing shit, watching BET on the fucking couch, yeah, wondering just, what's next in a fucking it, pandemic. Ties into what we're talking about. It's definitely insecurities and wanting other people to accept this like fake version of themselves because they don't actually like the real version of themselves. Whew. That was a bar. Say it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Th that is that is so true. And that's the, that's one of the main reasons why I, okay. So I have my own insecurities too. Anel, you don't have, I'm going to say like how I feel, but you don't necessarily have to. That's fine. This is just mm -hmm. me. I'm pretty transparent on this podcast, but when, it, especially when it comes to social media, one of my um, real insecurities is I really don't think that I'm that attractive. Mm -hmm. So my Instagram is full, is fulled up with, I mean, it's content of me but I don't really have a lot of pictures of me, you know? I feel like your Instagram is more of like your personality show, you know? Yeah. Opposed to appearance wise. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, and honestly, a little bit of that is kind of a privacy thing too. Because I used to be about that shit, you know, in college and in high school. But now that I'm a grown ass man, I really, you don't need to know what I'm doing. Like, right. you don't you don't need to know who I'm involved with you don't need to know what's going on in my relationship so I I post what I want you to see mm -hmm. which is I'm doing this I'm doing that I'm, I'm I'm doing so I'm doing so much shit and I just post it and I don't scream that I'm moving in silence I just do it you know just do it. <laughs> yeah because you know that's that, that's how thing works so let me let me ask you a question mm -hmm. because I they don't you feel like a lot of this shit is a bunch of uh, double standards? Oh, for sure. Oh my gosh, it's so I fucking. I feel like we just live in a world of double standards. Honestly. Oh God! But <laughs> here's the thing: I don't, I don't understand because people will defend their double standards. Be like, no, it's not. It's just how things are. Like you, you're gonna shade a uh, um, a guy for liking a specific girl now. This can this can get into some mur murky territory because mm -hmm. there is a difference between like preference and like fetish sizing, you know. Yes. But you'll you'll like shade one guy for saying he likes one particular girl because he doesn't like your ass, but then you'll say that I need I need a guy that's six eight. Yeah, I. 
I don't know. I we've talked about this. Remember, I, I sent you a tweet or Facebook uh, something oh. where oh. this girl was like, "Oh, y'all just date girls you find attractive." And I was like, "Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't you date a guy that you find attractive?" <laughs> Oh, we, like, isn't that a big part of it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the point? <laughs> to be honest, I when you sent me that shit, I thought she was joking, but <laughs> it turns out that she was dead ass serious. She was so serious. <laughs> and she really thought that she was doing something in terms of, like, you know, black men are, like, colorists because they only date a certain kind of girl. But I think there's a, there's a like you said, there's a thin line between a fetish and and having preference right I think for me personally like I I don't have an issue dating outside of my race same but I'm not going to say I like to date this person because this person is trash and I'm not going to put down another you know race or another physical characteristic right just so I can uplift you know the one that I prefer I think that's weird and a lot of people do that and they go, well, it's just my preference. And it's like, no, like there's something deep rooted in that. If exactly. You trash that person, you know? Right. So at what point do you think it's more of a fetish thing and not a preference? Because I, I know guys who like, they would tell me because like, you know, we're friends. They'll say, you know, I like, you know, for example, Latina woman. Mm -hmm. but they don't bash black women that's they just go for latino is that fetishizing at that point i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know i don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I but i think i think it, it it gets to a point where where it's weird when they're like oh because they're hot they're spicy and like start describing them like using like words that you describe food you know that is really <laughs> fucking think, weird I think that's where it becomes like kind of a fetish, just like, you know, when people describe a black skin or black people, they're like, ah, chocolate, mocha, da da da. And it's like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, or they make it a Latino, I like Latino women because they're feisty, they're hot in the bedroom. And it's like, there are other people who are also the same way. Yeah. And it, it's putting this stereotype on what Latino women are like and i think that's where it becomes really weird and i've i've dealt with, with latina woman before and it's there everybody is different Everybody's literally different. i <laughs> i mean asians latino black white every everybody is is different like i don't i don't understand but you, i agree it is weird now that i think about it it's weird when they uh when they start making those food compar yeah. <laughs> comparisons like Okay, but I will say this is the weirdest thing that I've seen where it comes to people who like want to date outside the race, right? Mm -hmm. And they like, let's say Latino women, like a guy's like, oh, I want mixed kids so they can look like insert picture of a hot mixed woman. And it's like, that's creepy. <laughs> that's really fucking creepy. Um, I understand that, you know, you want, a, I mean, everybody wants attractive yeah, kids. Yeah you know but like but, like i want my daughter to be like this hot girl that's really fucking weird and i mean if she isn't are you gonna love her any less yeah what's what's like what's what's gonna happen see I don't know. and because of that that's exactly why god isn't gonna give it to you that's true that's that's so stupid i believe wasn't it i think it was like Courtney Kardashian or something when she got pregnant with her child mm -hmm. and her child came out like a little bit darker than like yeah. all of the other little Kardashian babies yeah and like people were saying that she had this big like fetishization over like mixed babies and then her baby comes out black and she just kind of like I think there was this whole uproar about how she kind of showed off her daughter and how she like treated her daughter compared to i may be wrong but i remember it being a thing. really i remember it being a thing where people were like well now she's mad because her not mad you know she wasn't actually like outraged or anything right but they were like yeah well you know her baby's darker than everybody else so it's like really yeah but it's like i don't know it was a thing it was a thing i'd have to like pull up receipts yeah 
specific story of like what it was. I but, mean, I re- I really don't I really don't like the Kardashians, but from what I've seen, she's always showing off. True, so I don't know. People were, you just, know, people love to hate Kardashians. Oh, they sure do. I I don't like them for for my own reasons, for but specific reasons, yeah. Yeah, so I, you know, I just it's weird i'm i'm never hating on anybody you know that that gets their money you know do you get your money but when you start to brag about things and how you have this and how you have that okay well what did you do to really get that because i feel like the whole kardashian clan i mean they had money because of their dad but they were riding off the coattails of kim making a fucking sex tape yeah so you know i don't know that's why i don't like them like i really don't care for them but i don't bash them or anything like that but that's that's weird oh my gosh do you know of this um this cringy youtube couple i forgot what they're called like the prince family or some shit like that prince i there's a lot of cringy youtube couples it's it's horrible but it to make a long story short I don't know what the mom is, but she l- looks white. Like she looks white. Maybe she has something else mixed in there. I'm just gonna say that she's white, right? Mm-hmm. When she had everybody got on her ass because she when she had her uh, daughter, she was like, "Oh man, I wish your eyes were pretty like mine." Her her daughter had dark brown I eyes. I remember. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I can't yes. remember the names of the family, but yeah yes she's like oh, i thought she was gonna have pretty eyes or something like that yeah so and it's like oh yes and why would you people do not know when to shut the fuck up like it just shut up just say oh my god she's pretty yeah she's pretty that's your daughter you know oh yeah i don't know there's i mean there's there's obviously like so many things that's been ingrained in us and that we're trying to like break you know like just in terms of, I, I don't know if you've ever gotten this, but I've never personally gotten this from like my parents or anything like that, but mm-hmm. I've gotten it from aunts where you're like playing in the sun and they're like, oh, don't stay out until, you know, in the sun because you're going to get too dark. You're going to get too dark. Yeah. Hmm. Have I? No. Um... I don't know if like, I don't know if men get that. Like, I don't know. Boys, or if it's just a girl, like a thing that we like got. Well, I mean, granted, my mom, she always told me not to stay too, you know, or if I stay in the sun for a long amount of time, just wear a sunscreen. But for her thing, it was just more of a paranoia with skin cancer, you know? So Really? Yeah. You wore oh. sunscreen as a kid? Yes. Oh. She made me. <laughs> Is that, oh, it, was I a little fucking nerd or something? <laughs> you wearing sunscreen. You wear sunscreen, huh? You care about your skin. You <laughs> like, care about your skin. Like, I mean, I, who wants to get sunburned? And, Nobody. And I mean, I you know, I played sports. Like, I played baseball most of my life. So I was playing. You know what? I don't know how I did that. As a kid, I was playing baseball in like 110 degree weather. It was ridiculous. Pants. <laughs> Wearing baseball pants. Running. Sliding. I forgot. You did play baseball, huh? Yes. Very long time. It was great, too. Hmm. Yeah. I was about to dog on you, but no, that's cool. I'm I'm happy that you were <laughs> that you were happy. No, I say what you gotta say, Negro. No, it's it's good. Uh, preferences, right? Back to the back to the topic. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say you don't 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 you talk shit. You never seen me play. God damn it! The only reason why I stopped is because I went to a racist ass high school oh. where everybody on the team was you know was whiter than white. I mean, white from the Cau- Caucasus Mountains, white. <laughs> And they didn't want to play. Yes, they didn't. They didn't want to play me. And you know what? I they constantly because they thought that I was cool. I got in a fight one time because they constantly wanted to throw around the n word, and I got fucking pissed. Like there was only so much, and I was taking it at some point just because I wanted to play that bad. Wow. But yeah, I I really I man, my fuse blew at one point. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. I that's yeah. a that's a good story time. <laughs> But I have a question for you. So have you ever had like an issue with being short? You mean like per, like an internalized issue or yeah. like 
Um, not necessarily. I would know, like, like in middle school, you know, like with all the girls, like girls go faster or like first, right? Yeah. They go first, and really fast, right? Yeah. And I just realized everybody was growing except for me. <laughs> but I didn't. I never really had that much of an issue mm -hmm. with it. Um, there were a lot of jokes, but it wasn't bullying per se. It was just like roasting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't, there was no like bullying. There was no, I didn't like cry at night because I was short or anything like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> and even like to this day, I would say it's harder now than it was as a kid. Because now I'm, you know, I'm 25 years old going on to 26 and I'm mm -hmm. 13. Right. So I think it's, I have more issues with it now because, like I said, I look 13. It's really hard. I, like, I'll go grocery shopping and I can't reach things on the top shelf. Do you know what's funny? I was going to mention that. <laughs> and I, I literally, like... And, and you never find people who work in the store like when you're when you need them, right? Especially, well, it it depends which store you're going to. So I have to wait. I go to Giant. I just think anywhere when you really need help, they're not. They're never. The like, only place, the only place I would say where there's people already are like always around and stocking is Walmart, but that's about it. Really, because I see them like stocking and stuff, and then when I need help. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. They, so, they, they, go, they go the other way. <laughs> okay. So I literally I have to wait until like somebody tall, like a stranger walks that by and sucks. I'm like, oh, excuse me. Excuse wow. Me. Like I have to really, I have to do that. And it's weird. I, I understand because I am a grown man. Like I said, around five, four, almost five, five. I have to do the, the step and grab. You know, when you step on the bottom shelf real quick yeah, and do. look, I got it and I got to get, get my momentum, not my momentum. I got to get mo momentum. Moment. I got to like stand back a little bit then I got to step on the bottom shelf, reach, yeah. grab it and put it in the car. Do you use yeah. other items to like knock off? <laughs> I have before. Yeah. For some reason, the detergent that I, the detergent that I always get um, from Walmart, it's always up there and it's always in the fucking back. So I have to do that always. I don't know why it's so frustrating, but that's exactly yeah. what I have to do. I'm I'm too scared to like basically like climb up the shelves because I'm scared it's gonna. <laughs> oh, it will. See, that's why you gotta have your momentum. I'm okay. telling you, that's why it's real quick. You can't now if you climbing like a monkey. Yeah, you, that yeah, you're gonna fall. That's and then I pull one of these numbers. And you, you look first. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But something you said I, I laughed at because I um I actually grew fast as a kid and then I stopped growing. When I was in the fifth yeah, when I was in the fifth grade, like I was taller than most people. I had a fucking mustache and a deep voice. The nurse used to call me uh Barry White. <laughs> and I did not know who Barry White was until I had to look him up. <laughs> like I legit had a deep voice and by the time sixth grade came people were afraid of me because they thought I was like a man I had like sideburns and shit it <laughs> apparently it happened to my older brother too oh my like, gosh and then yeah. you guys stopped <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was uh, it that was peak pr I, pretty <laughs> much and then after that it was you know that was it, but I, it. I always had a deep, deep ass voice, but, um, <laughs> okay. So for me personally, yeah, I never, me being short was never a problem for me. It was literally everybody else's problem, which I always felt it was always weird. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody else has a problem with it, but me. <laughs> and, um, you know, when it comes to like, I never let insults get to me or anything <laughs> like that. And it's one of the reasons why I'm creative with insults now, mm -hmm. because my roasting, you know, my roasting is fire. Right. Oh my gosh. So creative. Like, yo, I made a, um, I made a toast at my brother's wedding and uh, my, my cousin was basically like, he was the MC, right? Mm -hmm. And he's a, he, he's like six, four, six, three. And he's, he's big. He's wide as a bitch. 
I told him, I said, man, your ass is so big. Every time you call me, my phone get heavy. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. What? I don't know. I was also drunk. So I, <laughs> I don't know. He's just minding his business. He's just minding his business. Yeah. He was like, man. <laughs> exactly he didn't he didn't do anything like there was nothing that was it was uncalled for but I, I was drunk I was having fun and I felt like it needed to be said I guess that's that's the thing you know you're good at roasting when it comes out like word vomit oh my god yeah and shit that just doesn't make any sense sometimes like do you remember the story I told you when the um when uh this big girl was basically trying to like insult me yeah she like called you ugly or something she called ugly short blah 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 and she was really heavy set so i two two of my favorite jokes two of my favorite best jokes ever that i that i heard that i came up with um i told her i said what, what was the first one? Oh yeah i was like man when you go to the club the only shots that you take is insulin and and <laughs> And then I told her if a shark bit her, she, the shark was going to get high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah. So roasting has become some, somewhat of an art for me, you know? But then, uh, and didn't she, like, cry or something? Didn't you tell me? She oh, was- yeah, 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 yeah. She, yeah she, she started to tear up. She got, like, real quiet. But here's the thing. Don't come for me. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can't. And we all know, like, bullies, right? They bully because they're insecure about something. Or right. They were bullied or something like that. Right. But you can't, like, come at somebody if you yourself have insecurities that are just very easy to pick at and very visible. Exactly. Because, of course, somebody's going to come back at you, like, at one point, like, one day, you know, it's going to happen. You're going to be sad. She picked the wrong one that day. And let, let's be honest here. It, I never, like, I never insult, well, besides my cousin that time, I never insult people, like, unwarranted. Like, it's always for, <laughs> it's always for a, a reason. So you try to bully me. I'm the real bully. I, 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 I will say things to you that hurt. Yeah. And wow. it and it will have you hot, like you will be so mad. So, like I said, it's never an, it's never an issue. Um, being short is never an issue for me. It's just mm-hmm. other people. Uh, another instance um, when somebody was um, I was running against them in track. You remember? You know, I used to run track in in high school or whatever. I didn't do it in college because I was like too short. Um, that was good. That was good. See, all you have to do is laugh. <laughs> But no, I didn't want to destroy my body for no fucking reason. Right. Um, but I remember I had this like real, this real tall, lanky dude. Like we were about to run the uh, the 55 and he looked at me and, and laughed. And I heard him <laughs> under his breath say short ass nigga. Man, I blew his ass out the water. I didn't even say anything. I just walked off. I wasn't mad because I knew like none of that stuff, that none of that stuff affects me. That's the that's what I don't understand about people. Like when they have nothing, they go to my height. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it's flattering for me because I know you don't have anything else to, so that you have to right. attack the obvious. Exactly. So that's why I fuck people up and I don't attack the obvious. I I will say a random like gay joke and you're probably not even gay. Right. <laughs> but uh yeah. I, I think it's really funny where when like people when they don't know you personally and they just have to like try to attack your appearance yeah. and it's like don't you think I've heard that before like don't you think that's already been said exactly <laughs> like like I- one one insecurity that like I'm still struggling with is like my smile like my teeth really because I used to so I used to suck my thumb when I was a kid Okay. And my dad was always like, oh, you better stop or else you're going to need braces. And I was like, eh, fuck you, old man, whatever. <laughs> and, and, and then eventually, like, I needed braces. Mm-hmm. And my dad was, he, he doesn't, he doesn't like seeing, like, his children in pain, you know? And I know braces, like, hurt, right? And he's just right. like, oh, but 
you're perfect the way you are and you're beautiful blah, blah, blah. right so I'm just like yeah okay I don't you know so I never had I never like had braces I never did like Invisalign or anything like that and so like to this day obviously it's not something that I like am conscious of like every time I leave the house or something like that right but sometimes there are days where I'm like oh ooh, I don't like you know how this looks or if I take like a selfie or something and I'm like ooh, <laughs> I don't like how that looks I'm not gonna you know like post it or whatever but that's something that I'm you know like battling with mm -hmm. but if somebody else like is like oh your teeth are fucked up that's not gonna bother me because it's like I've already said that shit to myself like right <laughs> like what you say at this point it's already been said before so exactly. and, I, and I think at least for me it's just I'm like my biggest hater I'm my biggest critic so what anybody else has to say I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Who the fuck are you, Gerald? I don't, yeah. I don't know you. <laughs> but I will say, like, the one that hurt is like when people come for like your personality. You know? Like, yes. <laughs> that <laughs> exactly. Hurt. You have to. Like, you're not actually witty, and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> like, you're not funny, and you're like, oh my god. Yo. I, I, I'm more hurt if somebody tells me like, I'm not funny, like rather than somebody is call, calling me short. Right. Like if somebody's like, in, yes. <laughs> like if somebody in my YouTube comments telling me I'm not funny, I'm just like, oh, shut up. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why you ugly. Shut up. Right. Like, yeah. Because like you said, we are our own haters. We are our biggest critics. Like, <laughs> it's it's crazy but i feel you on the smile thing too i i used to have a thing with uh with my smile too i kind of do too at times because you know that's just i mean i don't, I don't really care for yeah that's i would rather take all my pictures like this you know yeah just every time like i don't have to smile you have to smile yes and so my my girl she she loves pictures mm -hmm. and she hates that I'd never want to take any, but for one, I really do. I, I not only do I do not like my smile that much. I just I don't like being forced to smile when I don't fucking want to. It's weird. <laughs> like what the hell? I'm like why why am I why am I randomly smiling so hard for? Especially in times where I'm not happy. We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. Pandemic, not, people are dying. <laughs> yes, there's nothing to smile about. That's just that's just how I feel. Like, I just I I don't know. I I hate smiling. I I just I don't like pictures. I like taking them, but I right. don't like being. I will say, like it really, it's very very difficult dating like men because <laughs> because like women like. You know, when we when we take pictures, like we know, like okay, it's gonna be up here, like angles. So the guys just be like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that, I mean, some to, right some, and to then, some degree. And then if I'm trying to like show, you know, my homegirl a picture of this guy I'm talking to, and all his pictures <laughs> are awful, <laughs> and I have to convince her that he looks better in person, and she's like, mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> like, no, like, that's really fucking funny actually <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah you gotta look me me being a photographer like you got you gotta know your angles so that's right. that's the one thing i do understand i just but again i just rather take them i don't like i just i look at them and i'm just like ugh me like, <laughs> seriously I, I don't i don't like a lot of pictures that people take of me so I feel like they don't really know, like, they don't really know my angles. I'm just like, okay, selfie. That's, I could, yeah. like, get a selfie out in five minutes, you know, when it's somebody. And then I'm so nervous in front of the camera. Like, yeah. I'm so, like, nervous. So it's I really, understand. I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> like, and I go into, like, schoolgirl pose. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> with your hand, with your hand on your hip, like, bent out like that. <laughs> And it's always just so bad. So, yeah, oh I don't know. God. I don't. I don't have a lot. I don't like when people take pictures of me. It's just weird. For right. Me. But I, I 
same. I just, once again, uh, just, uh, why me? Why am I looking at me? I'm sick of looking at me. I don't. I, I, like I, I wake know. up in the morning, I see myself as dead. Yes, and again, that's probably a lot of that probably become um, comes from my uh, insecurity of like my appearance in general. Like I don't think that I'm that attractive, so that probably has a lot to do with it as well. Mm-hmm. I don't want a constant reminder that you know I'm me. <laughs> but anyway, I have a great question because um, yeah, this is one thing I. I'll let you answer and then I'll give my take. So do you feel like you being short, um, you feel like people try to belittle you at times? Huh. Um, let me get crisscross. I, I don't yep. think so. Mm-hmm. Or if it's happened, I can't necessarily remember it. Um, I don't think, or if it's happened, I don't think it's because I'm short. I think it's okay. just like, not to like, bring up gender but i do think it's like a woman, is a woman thing, thing where yeah where people yeah where men specifically are like mm. oh sweetheart you know like just certain mm. things. got you I don't, I don't think it's a short thing but i do know like there are women who like try to intimidate mm-hmm. me or something and it just it doesn't it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work and i have been told that me being short like people who are shorter tend to be more aggressive or more intimidating somehow because we have to make up for it. you know. And I'm that's not true at all. I don't think it's true. I just think I'm just like the worst. So that's why I'm like. But no, let me, okay. So let, let me, let me be honest. You actually can come off as intimidating though. Not to me. I'm talking, let's, let let's let's get in the mindset of um of fucking idiots, right? Right. So you are intimidating because you're intelligent. Mm. That intimidates anybody. So it got nothing to do with you being short. You're not quote feisty or anything like right. that. Like you're you're just you. Like when I when I first met you, like we vibed out easy because you were a, a sarcastic asshole, and I was like, oh shit, I'm a sarcastic asshole. <laughs> Friends. Friends. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I um people I feel like uh people do not take me as serious as like at certain times because I am shorter. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um but it's mainly women. Yeah, and I see that. Mhm. And it it goes it goes to how that girl was saying like, "Oh, I feel safer with somebody who, you know, right. 10 like the, everybody would feel safer with someone who's six ten, but all you gotta do is knock their knees out, <laughs> and then when you, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, <laughs> go for the knees. <laughs> See, when you but, get yourself a nice shovel and just yeah, right in the knees. Exactly. Yeah. But I think um, it's it's definitely something that I'm seeing where a lot of women like to feel like they're being kind of le- like they don't, it's hard because there's a lot of like discourse about, you know, women being strong, independent women, right. And like not needing a man, but then also wanting a man to like protect and lead and take control and, you know, all of that. But it also comes with the idea of what a man is. They're big, tall, with money and blah, blah, blah. So if you're not that, then you're not, you know, a man so they're not intimidated by you you know what i mean or they're not like right well which is well sense. which is weird because i mean i don't necessarily i don't want anybody to be into stupid people are intimidated by me also but i don't want people to necessarily be intimidated by me anyway but like, think about this like women want to date a guy that everybody else is scared of you know what i mean because it, it makes them feel safer like <laughs> That's how, that's why, like, like, there's a, a specific group of women who like to date hood niggas, right? Uh. Why? Because, oh, he's hard, he's this, he's that, but he's soft to me. Like, and that's, like, this weird, <laughs> like, this, like, weird thing. He bring, like, like, he bring his Glock wherever he go. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> like <laughs> honestly, I was, 
this is so weird. So the other night I, it was like a little game night and I was like meeting, you know, a group of people and they were mostly white. Um, okay. To be honest with you. And this girl, her boyfriend was, he was in the Marines and now, you know, I think something he got injured, but he's not typical Marine. He's not typical like. Oh, so he's not crazy. I what? wouldn't say because he's white. So I don't know. Oh. But, <laughs> but it's not, but you know, Marines have like that buzz cut and they're buff and they're like, you know. Yeah. But Most she like, she, but she feels like, like, I don't know, safe with him because he has a gun. <laughs> like, okay. So she feels like, like she's, you know, invincible because her boyfriend has a gun. So it's like, I understand that because he's got a gun, you know? He's average height, average looking, not buff, but he has a gun. But he has a gun. So it it adds attractiveness to him because he's packing. So I, I guess. I guess. It's, I would be scared. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I don't know, but that's, it's just a, it's a weird, like, I don't know. It's, it's it, weird. It, it is, it is really weird because again, not, not all women are, are like that. I mean, one, once again, I've, I've dealt with uh, plenty of women. I'm in a relationship now. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, even in, in the relationship that I, I, I'm in now, I feel like she, she feels safe. Like when when uh when she's around me, like I'm sure she would prefer to go to the store like with with me than she just you know herself, yeah. her herself or something like that. But yeah. but yeah, I just think I just think it's so silly. Like because you can be tall. I've met a bunch of tall niggas who wear vaginas. I know. It's it's ridiculous. It's so disgusting. Like <laughs> I'm just like. I like just to talk about like preferences, right? Mm-hmm. I I don't like I don't like guys who who are I like guys who are emotionally intel- intelligent, right? Yeah. If you're going through something, you can talk about it, or you can if you need space, you can say, "Hey, I like I need you know I you know need space, or whatever." I don't like right. guys who are just really just like soft. Like, mm-hmm. because I am my sarcastic asshole. If I like say something sarcastic, and you're just like, oh, but why do you? And I'm like, ew, like say something back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't. I think it's important that people express their feelings, but like personally, if it's just if you're just all feelings, like yeah, it it's kind of disgusting. It's yeah, and I I've. I've been around like guys who were like seven two and who were just like the softest like and there are girls out there who like that me I don't <laughs> yeah I I don't blame you it's honestly first of all it doesn't match like it it it, it doesn't if we're talking <laughs> if we're talking about like how men are supposed to be tall right brolic, guns <laughs> like <laughs> you you can't you can't be soft and then you like cry at kittens, like, like. <laughs> no, no, but again, but then it's also I, I'm trying to wonder, like, is it is it just because society has been telling me that like men aren't supposed to be soft? Like, I'm all for guys being, you know, mm. I'm all for guys like expressing feelings and feeling comfortable enough to talk. No, about- I I feel like it's not necessarily society; more it is your personality. It doesn't match your personality. Yeah, that, that that's all that is because. I mean, I cannot, I can't even have an, an overly soft person myself because me too. I am a sarcastic, a sarcastic asshole. Yeah. And I may say some shit that, that may hurt you. And if it hurts you, then we can't do this. But, but then if it hurts you, like be like, Hey, yeah, don't say them. Like, don't say them shit like that. You know, something like yeah. that. Instead of just be like, <sighs> yeah. <And> it's like, <laughs> like <laughs> exactly. If I said something like, you know, say something back or like, just be honest, be like, oh, hey, like, I don't like to joke, like, say something, you know, Mm -hmm. instead of like, crying. Right. (laughs) Like this, that, that's a, you know, that's actually a sensitive topic for me. I prefer. And then after that, be like, oh, shit, my bad. I apologize. That's cool. And then I'll find something else to attack. Exactly. (laughs) Like your cooking last night was mid. Something (laughs) like that. That now that would hurt somebody's feelings. 
So, okay, I have a question. How yeah. do you, like, deal with insecurities, like, in your relationship? Cool. Mm, I know. Cool. That's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. <laughs> um, you know, like, okay, so you talking about, like, with, with, with me personally? Let's I, say, yeah, you personally. Okay. So here's the thing. Are you, so, wait, question. So are you referring to, like, you know, necessarily like other guys being in the mix or like sure just like whatever jealousy. you whatever um, like you are insecure about how do you how do you navigate your relationship as well as your insecurities honestly when it comes to my relationship i really don't i don't have any insecurities it's mm-hmm. This is going to sound weird, but a lot of people are going to say, no, you shouldn't. But I, I trust her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, no, you shouldn't trust anybody. But uh, yeah, I just, first of all, she's way too tired to do anything ever. And when it comes to like other people in, in, in sex, oh, she's a big like, she is scared when it comes to like STDs and all that other right. shit. So, so it's just like, you know, her like personality wise. Like, yes. I you have to be worried about anything like that. Yeah. And I just, I'm comfortable with, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like she's with me for a reason. And like, when it like looks aside, I know that I'm, you know, I'm a great person. Mm-hmm. So I'm in that sense, I'm like really secure with myself. So, I mean, but if anything did happen, if she, like, went out on me, like, two times, whatever, then I said two times. I am fucking old. Um, (laughs) Then I would just be like, I mean, it sucks, but, you know, life goes on. Like, I wouldn't necessarily think it, it's me. It could be me, but that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be my first thought. Now, in previous uh, relationships, like my previous last serious relationship, I was a little, um, I was insecure, but I also feel like it was because I was younger and we were going to different schools. She was in Mason while I was at VCU. Right. So. That's like two hours away from each other. Yeah. 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 So in that sense, like I, I was, like I was snappy, you know, and I, yeah, that that's the, literally the only time I've been insecure in a, um, in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I, when it comes to myself, I have my own insecurities, but relationships, I just, I'm, I'm all right. Like you're, you're with me for, you're with me for a reason. If, if I have um, some room to, to doubt you or question you, then I'm not going to be in a relationship with you in the first place. Right. So you don't, you don't push your insecurities into like onto your partner and like expect them to fix it. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. the mature thing to do yeah i mean and let, let the only person that can fix my insecurities is me exactly because i i know this now um people can tell me i'm attractive like up and down i don't give a fuck because you don't have to look at me in the mirror in the morning right so it is it is what it is i remember talking about how there was this one girl who who felt like you had to earn her trust right off the bat Mm-hmm. and you didn't do anything <laughs> right yeah. like and it's like I feel like trust should already be given yes and then if something breaks it then they have to earn it instead exactly. of like you like earn my trust but I did um I feel like I've told you about my last serious relationship where mm-hmm. he had a lot of issues from his his previous relationship and he mm-hmm. brought it into ours and then expected me to fix it like that's and not like your expecting job. me to essentially like atone for his existence, you know. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, and that's horrible. And I, yeah, and I and for a while, like I was uh, kind of trying, mm-hmm. or like you know, just trying to give him space to like heal. But then I just realized like he needs to do that on his own, and I can't. I can't. I'm not a therapist. Right lead his healing I can't help his healing like he has to do that by himself and after we broke up and it, you know a few months passed and we you know uh went out to eat and he was telling me how that time like he took that time to really focus on himself and he was doing a lot better like he got into therapy and he was like good 
he and yeah he like understood where I was coming from in terms of he didn't heal from his last relationship at all you know obviously yeah yeah obviously <laughs> like but it was like there's just certain things and I just I don't understand how he didn't see like the hypocrisy for one because um, mm. he would travel a lot for mm. uh for work and stuff but the minute I would leave the state for a friend's birthday or something he would give me a lecture on how I need to behave. And I, and, and I would ask him, yeah, and I would ask him like, what have I done that, you know, gives you the idea that I, I'm, you know, gonna right. misbehave if you will, like what have I done? Because I'm really big on, on actions. I think mm -hmm. anybody could lie through their words. Like, anyway, I could be like, you're funny. Like, obviously I'm lying. Right. Anybody could lie. <laughs> Well. You don't like your words, but your actions are huge. You can't fake your actions. I mean, you can, but it's going to be hard, right? It so is I'm like, hard. what have I done? And he's like, oh, well, you haven't done anything. I'm like, okay, so. Then what's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if everybody, so for everybody who's listening to this, if you run into somebody who feels like that you need to earn their trust, like all, like right out the gate, run. Right. You didn't do anything. You That's don't know them. That's like yeah <laughs> fucking run you do not know them you do not do anything yeah uh, now let me check to see the the time because this is wow it's almost been an hour see how fast that was this is ridiculous i'm glad i checked because this would have went on for two yeah. hours this is <laughs> it and this is i am so proud of this episode this is one of my favorite episodes do you know why why because we actually stood on topic <laughs> isn't that <laughs> <laughs> which is weird because weird. i just knew we were gonna go off on tangents. i believed it yes like that's that's crazy i am so <laughs> go us Damn it. good job <laughs> but yes anel thank you so much thank i um i appreciate you um if you have anything to plug what you want to plug your your instagram or something if you want people to follow you then you by all means uh sure <laughs> it's uh <laughs> It's just a little, it's a little difficult to. Uh, Don't worry. It, look, if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, then I'll I'll put the link to our Instagram in the just in the <laughs> description down below. It is now that I look at it. Not, yeah, it it is. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There isn't there. Is there like an H in there or something? Yeah. So my Instagram like username itself is like how you pronounce my name, but I think you can just go to Instagram and type in my name and I should pop up. Yes. Yeah, E-N-E-L-G-I-A-N-N-E because -E, I'm the only one with that name. So. Very unique. I, I'll never forget when I like first, I first met you in person. Like we started, we started talking over, um, over Instagram because of our mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And then when I met you in person, you said like your full name. I said, who? <laughs> <laughs> that is, but I, I mean, it flows though. It's cool. Thanks. I love yeah. my mom now. She made it up. That's, that's crazy. I have, you should start, you should start lying and be like, oh yeah, it means beautiful in Swahili or something. In Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> and don't believe it. <laughs> yes. I have the whitest of white names ever. Tanner yeah. Lee Watts. I'm surprised you didn't join like a fraternity. You know, if you see you like a. Catholic That's another dead. story for another time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is another story for another time. But thank you for all for all those who watched or listened uh, to the Simple Logic podcast, which is now on Amazon Music. I didn't even know that I applied for it to get up there, but apparently I did. And now it's up there. But yes, this is available on all of most or most streaming platforms. I think I'm missing one, which is Pandora. Yep. Um, literally anywhere that you can listen to a podcast, you can find the Simple Logic podcast. Or if you want to watch the video, you know, live once it goes up on Wednesdays, then do me a favor and go to my YouTube channel, Watch TV. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, man, we're out. Thank you, guys. Peace. Wow.